yeah good morning my distinguished gentlemen and ladies this is me again today the first day of june 2024 i use this medium to say happy new year to all of us to them that believe in truth to them that are called of the lord to them that believe that they will never lie against people knowingly i say happy new year to all of you although that to this new year will not be happy to everybody but it will be happy to them that believe in god to them that have the fear of god to them that believe in the truth but as many that never believe in the truth believe in scamming people believe in evil believe in lying in this grand community this new year will be a cause to them before i proceed let us pray father thank you so much for today have your way lord you have permitted me to speak although since last month may but lord based on the advice i have kept it till this June. Lord, whatsoever I'm going to say, Lord, bring it to pass because I am speaking not by my power nor by my mind, but by your spirit. Thank you because you are good. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, before I proceed, let us read John chapter 8, verse from verse 4. They said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act now moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned but what sayest thou this they said tempting him that they might have to accuse him but jesus stood down and with his finger wrote on the ground that is number six as thought as though he had them not verse seven so when they continue acting him he lifted up his himself and said unto them he that is without sin among you let him first cast a stone at her and again he he stood he stopped down and wrote on the and wrote on the ground verse 9 and they which had it been convicted by their own conscience my that word by their own conscience because we have consci conscienceless individuals in this grand community when when out went out one by one beginning at the eldest even unto the last and jesus was left alone and the woman and the woman standing in the midst when jesus had had lifted up himself and he saw none but the woman he said unto her woman where are those thy accusers had no man had condemned thee she said no man lord and jesus said unto her neither do i condemn thee go and sin no more by the grace of god I don't want to come here and preach the gospel because I know that what I'm going to say will be lengthy. But everybody involved must surely listen. If you don't want to listen, that is your cup of tea. I don't want to preach, but I want to create the indulgence to this verse. He said to them, If any of you is without sin, let him cast the stone first. Let him cast the stone first. And none of them did it. Now I want to ask grand community. Can you kindly 
can you kindly ask yourself or judge it had it been somebody among them was able to cast that stone first what do you think jesus will say do you think that jesus will forgive that person do you think what just just say it what do you think if somebody has someone up courage because i believe they were many for me because he said from the oldest to the youngest youngest can be any size if anyone has cast a stone first please judge what do you think will happen that is why it is never good to be the person that will first of all offend somebody if you offend somebody you make sure you apologize and amend your way immediately if you fail it the consequences is upon your head so everything i'm going to say today is based on that those that cast the stone first a lot of people cast a stone first against me and uh, today mark the beginning of their punishment only if they disobey what i'm going to say today before i proceed remember my name is reverend Ngwagachuku. before i proceed there is something that is trending about uh, about uh, apgn apg agpgn of kogi everywhere this thing is making me sorry if i use this 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 language it's making me mad in the spirit how can people that are reasonable be saying all this type of thing in unity do we count tribe this thing has been something that worries me upon some people that claim they are elders they are people they are people that are wise but they will be coming up with this type of nonsense something that is not good where we are portraying one thing some people turned it to be tribal. OPG, AGPG, and now had become Kogi AGPGN. Please let me just ask the grand community. Do you people remember that the, the first executive and lineup executive of this AGPGN, the president was King, uh, Mr. Kingsley, secretary was Livingstone, and the, uh, uh, treasurer was a do you people know that or didn't, didn't you people remember it that time did anybody come up to say it is a Igbo agpg do anybody said it i don't know why you people are behaving like this you will allow some people to be deceiving you so that to remove your attention from the evil that is happening and divert you to another area that is not necessary when he see in every position chairman or president secretary and treasurer is a vital inf a position was occupied by all ebos and nobody complained the house didn't didn't complain yoruba didn't complain now that a uh, 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 kogi person becomes a uh, president they have now turned it to be kogi people because uh, Felice Amikriton is consigned and uh, Ustad Dawood is consigned. Now, let me tell us. Let me tell us. I don't know the position that Ustad Dawood is holding. And I don't even know the position that uh, uh, Pastor Felice Amikriton is holding. To this expulsion, it was Livingstone Secretary Adaza Young, uh, uh, Treasurer. Chris, Chris was the Publicity Secretary. Then uh, Kemedia was Provost Machar. All was zone. Let me say, is it not the South? Nobody complained. Now, because Living uh, Kingsley resigned, Newman resigned, it has come to the turn of our uh, German machine, Abdul it has become kogi ten please distinguished ladies and gentlemen grand community you push you disregard this nonsense you push you disregard it even among everybody i strongly believe that those kogi people are the one that even love apostle care much 
because they believe in Apostle Ken and they also rose against me. So they love Apostle Ken. Yes. So nobody removes APGN from the leadership of Abdul, the German machine, until he resigned. As long as now he's consigned, he remains the president of our grand pressure group. Any other our grand pressure group is not our grand pressure group. As long as we are consigned in this grand community, any other one is nonsense and nothing to hold water until Abdul resigned. Others resigned. That was when it got to return of Abdul. So Abdul will be there getting the support of the masses. Simple. Again, I heard of oath. You put you stop that nonsense. Agreement is oath. If you and somebody agree, that is oath. Oath is not when you bring out blood. Oath is not when you bring out blood. So you put you stop those things that those insinuations. We push you stop it. I and the Apostle Ken has an oath where he we agreed that I am now a member of his family, his brother. Yes. And we agreed that he will never see anything evil and allow it to happen to me. But today he has derailed. Now, let me start from what I want to say. I want to touch on Apostle Ken and Benelis. Joyce Lovely and uh, others. First, Apostle Ken. I had wanted to go in detail about Apostle Ken, but I have seen that there is no need. The matter will be treated once and for all at the appropriate time. God will start his own now. Human will start their own next time which I don't know. But I want to tell you, Apostle Ken, you are a wicked man. You have no conscience. You have no conscience. Because of the wickedness in your heart, you throw stone first. I bear everything I bear because of you. Now, let me just tell you. Every covenant I have with you, you have broken them. So I stand before the Almighty God to tell you that any covenant between me and you, I withdraw myself from it. I am not having you as a brother at all. Go your way while I go my way. I will never see any evil personally. Evil personally. And allow it to happen to any of any person that is good. But anybody that is evil evil must surely happen to him i stand to tell you that you are evil and as long as god leave it evil will happen to you you have seen what you did what you know is how to destroy relationship for your interest you destroy relationship have been waiting to see how you can well i know you can try it but i'm just asking god if anything will happen and uh, I will be involved again, maybe by you or by your cohort in police or in court. I would have been happy so much because everything I'm saying, I meant it. And I won't leave it like that unless God wants me to just leave it like that. I was saying, you are evil. You have seen what happened, what you did to Ellis. But that day when we were settling, you didn't even act as if you had one that sent him. You kept quiet. When all these things was happening, I told you, you are dribbling me just because you are evil. Somebody that said he has somebody in heart as a brother. Kai, you are a wicked man. God knows you are a wicked man. And let me tell you, remember, you are not disbursing any grant. You are not disbursing any grant. Anything you disburse today is not of God, maybe of human that human human being like all any other person say come and disperse this it's not god stop that language i don't know if you are forgetting yourself you said it that god told you 2023 that 20 years to come you will disperse a grant and that thing ended 2023 this is 2024 so your turn has gone for that reason you should understand that god rejected esau and uplifted david 
please stop fighting anything at all that time you said god told you has passed any other one now is no longer god you are forcing yourself or on people or people want you not god oh i didn't say you will not disburse any money oh. if you have money to disburse you disburse but it's no longer god don't include god again that one has passed and that is it after i finish this thing i will pass the judgment because that is why also i am brought to grand community to set records straight so that people will understand that there is still god yes secondly to admin ellis is a pity that you are saying this type of thing is a pity i'm totally ashamed of somebody like you kai i am ashamed admin ellis you claim that you have pedigree that you don't believe in cheating anybody that you don't believe in, in, in that you fight for people when people are being maltreated wrongly you fight for them that was what you have been saying that you believe in the truth admin ellis are you not ashamed for coming out it's even better you keep quiet by coming to review this type of thing that you know i will hear it are you not ashamed somebody that said that he has pedigree his father know him everybody know him he don't like shooting if anybody admin ellis somebody now called you apostle ken and said come and say something against reverend Guarachuku that this boss want to take place but it is me that is writing petition admin ellis you couldn't even ask sir please where is that petition let me see as you have been claiming now that a person asks you you say uh, you have asked i i had your voice note advising people make sure you see see with your eye admin ellis you didn't see with your eyes you say if that is the case that you are going to say it you're going to ridicule yourself thinking you are ridiculing me eh? I, I was ashamed when i had it that apostle ken told you to come and speak against me that this boss didn't want to take place it was me that is hindering with my petition you didn't ask apostle ken please where is the petition before you talk you went ahead and was talking against me one two three what's the you that has no respect have the right to tell me to keep quiet you had been Ellis. now you have seen it somebody was preaching you just because of money Apostle, let me tell you you must provide that that petition you said i wrote for your information all grand prayer group also said you deceived them you made them to be against me the people i have been promoting cordial relationship between you and them they know when i was with you you now told them that i wrote petition you were the one that told them that i was staying with a uh, 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 having meeting with Theophilus and joseph Hart, which i know that he today i have never spoken with joseph Hart since that time that this fight started joseph Hart is angry with me today because of you if not i did him nothing i wronged him nowhere but because of you you now said I was having a meeting. Today I don't know who I just, Joseph Hart is. He has not seen me before. We have not had any meeting from even in the, on phone. And you deceived these people just to destroy the relationship. If you use, you dump. And you think it will be well with you. Kai, you must provide those evidence when time comes. Because you are a evil person. That is why and the admin is sorry for your life you are saying all these things instead of you to keep quiet yeah you're supposed to be ashamed but what pains me so much is after you have said all these things after you have known that somebody can be deceived you said all these things in that your meeting your voice i heard it you said of course all you said was true why must you say such thing admin Ellis, why must you say that all you said was true and Nellis, if I may ask you, you said I, I collected 48 million and give Apostle Ken 24 million. And you are telling me that that thing is true. You are telling me that it is true. I'm surprised at hearing such words from you that even what you are saying is true. If I may ask you, when did I start to collect that money? When I did a voice note. 
Were you there with me when I did the voice note? You know what I did by myself? What do I told you? Did you ever say no, don't do it? Did you advise me, say no, don't do it? The answer is no. When you had it, you say no, don't do it. The answer is no. And you say you are saying tr the truth. And in Ellis, if I may ask you, when did I commanded people to start giving you the proof of payment? Is it before that my voice note when people were giving me that or is it before I paid the 24 million to Apple Scan UB account or after I have paid it? How did you know how much that I realized the time I was paying that 24 million? Who told you that I realized 48 million at that time I was paying that for 20, 24 million? You are telling me that what you are saying is right. It's truth. Eh? Now let me ask you. Who now told you that after I paid that 24 million, that it was only, uh, that I didn't give a postcane any other money, that it was only that 24 million? Before I give a postcane that 24 million, have I realized the 48 million as you said? And Adminelis, you said that I now ate the other one. And you come to tell me that you are saying the truth. Adminelis, if I eat the other one alone, from which money did I use in paying your hotel bill and mine and others for that a month going to two months we spend in the hotel, if, if, if I'm not mistaken? Which money? I ate it alone. Adminelis, which money? Was I used in buying you food when we go out to eat? Adminelis, which money did I give you that you sent to your family? Which money? I ate it alone. Adminelis, you know I was giving others and you were angry that I was giving organ predator group and leave you be, and you are the one that is working, compiling all these things. Which money was I giving to them then? And you still came in your voice note that you have read, I thought you've realized yourself. To make amend, you still say, of course, all you are saying, all you said was true. Admiralis, please, let me ask you. Do you know who I am? Do you know my family? How do you come to know about my family? How do you come to know about my church? How many in my church? If not somebody that told you, how do you know? And you still claim that you are say, saying the right thing. Admiralis, your time has come. Although, I said that I won't leave you unless God will come and tell me to leave. And nobody will tell me. God will not even send somebody. He knows how he communicates with me. The time has come. Had it been after this thing that you even feel sorry, it will be more better. It will be more better. But, you say you are saying the truth. Adminelis, let me put it to you. You said you even paid the 300k. Adminelis, did you pay that 300k in your name or in the name of your NGO? Did you ever pay that money in the name of your NGO? Time shall come in court if God permits. I will bring out my own statement of account how I give you money. And you will bring how you paid me. To know if you have ever paid more than that 300k at once. Because it was what I, I appealed from my people. Adminelis, you collect, you gave me 300k, told me you collected it from two persons. I didn't even care to know if you collected the 1150 or 100, 100. And that was the money you paid for those people. I didn't even bother. Who even tells the grand community that when somebody is walking off this, he will pay? Who said it? Who said it? How do you turn now to say you paid? Why you paid for people? Now let me tell you, I now realize that a lot of people gave you that money. But you now remitted only 300k. Time is coming, I'll prove it to you. When I when we were collecting uh, 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 data, Google form, that was when I realized it. Yes, and your statement of account in court will prove it, my O will prove it. I am happy that I made openly, open apology for support or open uh, appeal for support but a lot of you started collecting the same support at, at back at back god will judge all of you 
I'll be like this. This is for you. And you keep on saying you are saying the truth. Instead of you to repent and do the right thing. And you kept quiet saying you are saying the truth. When you have known that somebody deceived you. Since you know somebody deceived you. Don't you know that the same person that told you about my church, about my family, can also deceive you? Don't you know? Wait. God's judgment is about to start. Straight to, to Joyce and Lovely. I called upon Joyce and Lovely when I made my video call. I said uh, they should make voice uh, video call. They refused to make video call because they are invisible. They are nowhere to be found. Distinguished gentlemen and ladies, let me tell you people truth. Joyce and Lovely is not one person. They are a group of people. They are a group of people. And being heavily led by Apostle Ken, because yeah Adminelis has proved it but that is not the major thing we have a screenshot where he was hailing Joyce and Lovely for causing mayhem damage in grand community now I dare Joyce and Lovely to take anybody to court and let me hear that the person that take that person to court is the person called Joyce and Lovely or team Joyce and Lovely any way it might be in this country I will go to that place if you know I have challenged you, if you know you are a human being, come out. Joyce and Lovely are causing damages, circulating my passport, pictures, my address. And they have the gut to say that somebody is threatening them. If you know you are a human being, you have legal team, come up. Come up and let me know whom you are. In short, go to court. Now let me use this word so that it will provoke you. You, Joyce and Lovely, you are a useless human being. And you are cursed. So use this word now and go to court. Say you are Joyce and Lovely that I say you are cursed. And any team Joyce Lovely. Let me tell you, uh, the so-called Pastor Donald. The problem is that all of you are using fake picture, fake name. Everything of you is fake. But thank God, Pastor Donald, somebody said he knows you. Yes. I want to tell you that the so-called Joyce and Lovely has used you as an escape good. You are in trouble. You are truly in trouble. I've told you to make voice note, uh, to make video uh, a message. You came and make voice note. You came and make voice note. Make video uh, message. Let me see your face so that uh, I will be sure that what is in your uh, in your uh, WhatsApp DM profile picture is you because all of you are fake people make it let me see if you know truly well you have anything against me or you can say anything against me come out but let me tell you you must surely be apprehended bet me by the grace of god time will tell you will be apprehended and get ready that whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law you are going to bring that your evidence of those things you said somebody must be a witness because I know I don't know you before and I'm not sure I've seen anybody like you. I don't even know who Pastor Donald, so called Pastor Donald. And you people are not even ashamed answering Pastor. And you are used to do evil job. And you are answering a pastor. He's paying me too much. A pastor. And you will be used to cause mayhem, publish people's address, demand that the masses will go and mob those people. Kill them, a pastor. Kai. Well, I don't believe you blue a pastor. I don't believe it. But show yourself. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. They have used you as a scapegoat too. Let me tell you. You will see it because you must surely, you must surely defend those things you said. Yes, you must surely defend those things you said. Again, Mrs. Victoria will be. Vikinne, 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 please and please, I beg you, tell me that all they are saying about you, that you even know who Joyce Lovely is, or you are you are among the team of Joyce Lovely, or you are Joyce Lovely, please tell me it's not true. Vikinne, please tell me it's not true, because it breaks my heart when I heard it. Tell me it's not true because the time has come this january is the day the month of judgment to all of you 
anybody that has spoken evil against me. Vikine, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want any judge, God's judgment upon your life. So this is the time. Call me, please, before the time I will give. And tell me that it's not true. If it's true, tell me, call me and apologize. Vikine, please, I am begging you. Because I strongly believe for all the impacts have for impacted in your life, in your family life, you if you see anything evil against me, you won't allow it to happen. So me will not see anything evil against you and I will allow it to happen. And you both remember everything I'm doing is those that cast stone first. Vikine, please, I beg you. Please, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you with the name of the Lord God we serve. Call me and tell me, confess these things to me. Please, I beg you. If you are monk, please tell me. Don't ignore this thing, this th begging that I'm begging you now. Because what is coming upon anybody that is among your lovely team will be so horrible. Because the judgment of God must surely take its course upon their life. They have committed atrocity in grand community. Vicky, I beg you. I beg you. I beg you before this time that I will say, please, I beg you, call me. Even if you have been, call me and confess, I will forgive you. These people are putting you in trouble. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Just confess. That is what I want to tell you there. Again, I want to remind one person that says he's a pastor uh, of uh, Christ, uh, uh, Christ, uh, uh, Christ, uh, Christ uh, Apostolic Church, or uh, yes, Christ Apostolic Church. When I talked about OCG, I didn't call OCG, I didn't talk to OCG. I was talking about Apostle Cain and his wickedness. And OCG came, started insulting me that he's defending his, his master, his boss. You pastor, say you are a pastor. You forgot to understand that if you are a pastor, you cannot even watch the young one insult an elder. You didn't give him an advice on what to do that will save his life. You went ahead to come to challenge me. It is time you are inclusive in this because I have been waiting for him to come and defend his master. He has not defended his master. My pain to all of you is that you people don't even understand what the judgment of God is when I say it. I bet you have never for one day knelt down or prayed that anybody would die. Let me tell you, if your enemy die, you lost a lot of things. But if your enemy is alive, I'm telling you, you gain a lot of things. That is why the Bible says, let my enemy live long and see what I will be in future. When your enemy lives and is suffering over what he did to you and confess, that is when you gain. But if he die, you cannot see him again. And even the damages he did, nobody will co correct it again. That is why I never pray for any death. Whenever I say judgment of God is established, so shall it be. And so it is because that person will also be put to shame and he will confess. It's a pity that person like you that supposed as a minister, I told my people in my church, don't have anything against or in, in, in any quarrel against any minister, even if he's called by God or not. Go your way. Don't allow any minister to curse you. If you didn't do anything and that minister curse you, please call me, I will go. It's only me, between me and that minister who settle it. I train my children in the Lord like that. They don't insult any minister. And you see this small boy insulting me because I didn't call his name. You came to back him up. Now, what is happening? And you don't know that you 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 put that child in whatever he is. Now, although he would, although you people don't have eye to see what is happening. Anybody that is caused is caused. Unless cost less cost when you didn't offend that person. But if you offend that person, the only thing that can save you is repentance. And I don't know what the people are saying about repentance. They'll say forgive. No forgiveness without repentance. Starting from God. No forgiveness without repentance. And repentance goes with restriction. 
restriction is god have mercy i've sinned against you if you sin against god and so people will sin against human being they will go and apologize to god only you apologize to god because god created that human being but you must surely apologize to that person you sent again you offended that is the restriction you will do if you are holding his thing you stole his thing you can say this is your thing i stole take you cannot hold my 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 property you have you have stolen and you come to apologize give me my property you don't want to give me you put that boy in that condition thing so you are among these people that will receive this judgment within the days i would say again somebody was saying that uh, he knows me he knows me was saying blah 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 was it at mingali all of you that insulted me this is your time if you like go ahead to insult you does it concern me anybody that will also come up to insult me is, is also included let's see if god called me although you people know that god called me again somebody what was his name he said i collected what money three three hundred or how much he said from the people of anambra state he was calling my name i stand to tell that person if in my life i have come to anambra state to introduce grants may he never be well with me if i've stepped my foot in anambra introducing grants anybody that has supported me supported me based on my voice note and i don't know who they are just few i know are uh, my people when they come they will say they are from anambra was it two person or three i don't know if i forgot but this person said i collected more than 400 you are going to prove it in the court of law time is, is coming and those people will say if they have seen me before and how did i preach grant to them in anambra before they announced i start collecting money and the person that is saying these are the people that collected the hell of money from a lot of people in orca anambra state even bank managers a lot of people collected a lot of money i don't want to say how much they collected each cluster and some people paid for five clusters and some people paid for three clusters so let me say it each individual one one thousand times one thousand that is one million and they collected those one those one one million each bundle into five places from one bank manager those are the people that is talking to you they think i i don't know they think i don't know they collected others three clusters so they mute a lot of people that is why they are singing the song of uag because if uag fell as it has failed they are in trouble and they are calling me names i never the problem is that i never even called their names if not the time they called my name i didn't call anybody's name and they saw that person unless the people i called and said stop collecting money from people that was my offense all those people your time is now now let me make my proclamation let me proclaim the judgment of god for you to know that god has sent me again but before i do that our grand pressure group let me tell you let me give you advice you have to bear everything that people are saying today from apostle ken apostle ken made you people to rise against me today he has made other people to rise against you that is life and i believe that you people have learned your lesson you see you have learned your lesson ah lest i forget i remember i want to say kudos to you your grand project group for removing living stone i told you people that if you don't remove living stone that our grand project group will not succeed now you have done well that my that my prophecy has come to pass when you people are in good time oh do you see it has come to pass and you people have removed him that is when you people will prosper whenever i said anything to you if you like take it if you don't like leave it when you people are in good time why because he cast stone first upon me how can living stone open his mouth and said i paid i gave you people all grand project group only three hundred thousand 
Tito De Livingstone has never repented of that word. He has never repented of that word. So I say kudos to you people for, rem for removing him. That is what you're supposed to do. The hand of God is there because I prophesied this. I told you people this. So in my advice, I want to tell you people, you have to bear everything. You are my people. I'm not against you. You people are against me. Although we have settled. But you know, it remains this little thing we ought to do and final, finalize. But I want to tell you now as my advice, what I see on you people with Adminelis. If you people cannot learn a lesson of what Adminelis did to me, I, I learned he did it to Kingsley. If you can't learn a lesson, please be very careful. I saw you are there and he's there and then he's supporting with you people our grand project group be careful about admin Ellis. unless he repents i don't know if he will repent in his life but if he repent to god be the glory to god be the glory because the best thing in life and the best human being that has conscience is the person that whenever you realize that you have done if you say you are sorry that is just the simple truth that is just the simple truth and i know woe unto me if somebody will Offend me and tell me with all his heart that he's sorry. I will not forgive that person. Now lie. If you ask me for forgiveness with all your heart, I will forgive you. That is me. But if you don't ask for forgiveness, heaven will not even forgive you. I know what I'm saying. You push to watch out. He had been telling you. He said uh, he is not for. Uh, he is not for our grand pressure group. He is not for anybody. He is for the masses. Anybody that is saying such thing is delicate. It's dangerous. Because that time will come, he will say he said it. That whenever he see anything you people do, he will he will blast at you people. He will push you watch out. Oh, he is giving you people a clue of what he will do. You better mind yourself with him. You might like this, you might not like it, but I'm giving you as as an advice. That time he will say, I said it, didn't I say it? Let me tell you, a good friend can never come public to attack you. Can never come public to attack you unless he has done it in house done it in house done it in house no way he did it to me we have never done anything in house my case with adminelli is because i told him i told them to go that i have not seen anything they are doing in abuja again the money i have can no longer carry them that was my offense god almighty knows god almighty knows without that we are staying together and we are happy no complaint until I made this statement. That was when everything blast. So you people should be very careful. And if he truly a friend, he wouldn't. No matter who pushed him, he wouldn't do such thing. He must remember how me and him, how he and the person has rapport. But those people that have no conscience will quickly forget the relationship they had before with somebody. Good relationship they had before. So he had been warning you people. You people be warned now. Be warned. Be warned. And anybody that will tell you I'm not for our grand pressure group, I'm not for um, anybody, I'm for the masses. That person is dangerous. That person is dangerous. Call a spade a spade. Call a spade a spade. Calling a spade a spade is not your house. You call a spade a spade in house. That is why our grand pressure group. When he, uh, as I was told, when uh, uh, Livingstone made that statement, because it has made it openly, they cannot come and attack him. Because of that in-house, I don't know what they said inside. I don't know. I don't know what they said, how they handle it. So any of your friend can never seek for your downfall. So Adminelis is not a good friend. I don't know if he will repent from today or he will still come to make noise. Time shall come. He will prove all those things he said. I mean it. I mean it. Because nothing has happened now. That is why everybody is uh, bringing up shoulder. So you pull, be warned. Be warned consigning Adminelis. Don't say I did not tell you. Don't say I did not tell you. All grand pressure group. Don't say I did not tell you. I am telling you truth now. So, finally, I stand to proclaim the judgment of God. Upon all these people I have called and all the people that is 
giving fake news they know the one they know not the one they had but they don't know and those people that are scamming people I gave all of you seven days to repent and confess stop the scamming stop scamming people over what you know is not real all of you that have said evil against me why i didn't do anything to you but you did first maybe the time i was defending your time is up within seven days if you don't repent and redress your step confess and apologize i don't want people to if you apologize openly you still apologize to me if you wish but after that seven days you don't repent the judgment of god will be established upon your life the judgment of god will be established upon your life Apostle Ken, you better do what you're supposed to do now all of you after seven days and you never repent when you know you have wronged Apostle Ken, did i give you a little in four million so what I'm telling you, all of you now, is after seven days, the judgment of God will be established upon your life. And this judgment will touch your generation unless anyone that repented and remove him or herself from evil. But anyone that will follow your full step to commit evil against human beings, knowingly, they will never go unpunished. Because the Bible says that God is a jealous God that will recompense the sin of the father to the first second and fourth generation that is what the scripture said but anyone that repented among the children they can no longer be involved in that cause so bear it in mind all of you that have wronged me and you don't want to repent this is your time because after seven days and this judgment was so disastrous so repent fast and confess that is what i want to tell you again if what we had is true that uh, professor brimey brought a grant brought money and maybe mamarita brought us they were involved and somebody was involved in their death may the judgment of god be established upon that person because they caused all this nonsense unto us if not this type of thing would have not happened this money would have been disbursed to us to people you see god will judge with powerful judgment upon anybody that has hand in the death of Brimy, Professor Brimy or Mamarita. If they have anything linked of money they want to give to the masses, either by project or by anywhere, and somebody terminated their life, it shall not be well with such person. It shall not be well with such person. I decree this. It will start from today, the first day of June yeah sorry i was interrupted so as i was saying as many that are giving people fake hope you say you are building hope why you know you are lying repent and i decree that all these so-called country directors should allow the masses to be free stop twisting them and collecting their money I am begging you people if you fail it after six days you don't repent after seven days i mean your judgment will be established thank you my distinguished gentlemen and ladies as i appeal to anyone not to joke with this my voice note because i have spoken how i was led by god almighty people must surely be free from this grand community and i pray that if there is money truly may god release that money even if it is palliative 
may god release it to us in jesus name amen again i want to tell you people to just advise the masses to stop being against our grand pressure group i'm begging you people stop being against them just calm down stop being against them you are going to be against the so-called country directors not to them i'm begging you people don't be against them leave them let's see what will happen if i may ask you will you go and source for money and you give it to somebody else to disburse and you just go like that if i remember it's not even good to give up or scan any money to this boss because he's a liar and he will not disburse anything well he must cheat i know what i'm saying yes he must cheat this is what is happening that this boy source for money as he said and now he want to take over everything by himself there is something that will prove that we jointly own something this was what happened during Jochefat when this thing started. We had that Mamarita brought a grant and put the name, the document, put the name of Apostle Ken. And Jochefat said, I was mediating between Jochefat and Apostle Ken. And Jochefat said, that if he, if he's truly his wife, that they should work together. It's not carrying him along, but working together. But because of the greediness of Apostle Ken, he was telling Joseph, based on what Joseph had told me, that uh, Joseph said, You put my NGO, my wife's NGO, as a part so that we'll do this thing together. Apostle Ken told him, eh, If anyone I get, I will share. That was the problem Joseph had with Apostle Ken. If not, Joseph was supporting Apostle Ken that time, thinking it, it was true. Thinking it was true. That is just a true position instead of a person to carry him along to, to, to work with him so that they will know if finance is coming they will know together the spending they will know together but because a person is greedy he will never allow anything money another person to come in and you want to give him uh, money to disburse hey i sorry for all of you that is expecting those things you might if you insult me while i know i'm saying the truth the judgment of god will be established upon your life after seven days but I know I'm saying the truth. And Joseph said, no. How can you just give me like that? Instead of making me part. As long as it's my wife. That was the face off that Joseph had with Apostle Ken. Apostle Ken had been like this. So greedy that he cannot allow himself to tell others. Okay, come and join this thing. If it's it. Because you ask him. The hundred, hundred thousand, where it is? Where is it? He take, he spend a loan. Ten ten thousand, where is it? Well, that five, that five, that, where is it? He will tell you, I've used it to do app. I've used it to the D account to those people that he supposed that he was working with. Eh? Those boys are fighting for him to succeed. Yeah? When he has seen that his name has been profiled, he now wants to work alone. And uh, his barrister comes and say, You have made somebody a king, allow him to rule. For what? How would a king rule without a cabinet? Eh? So please, I advise you, Grand Community, please, I beg you, stop insulting our Grand Pressure Group. Let's watch and see. Let's watch and see. That is my advice, so if you like, take. If you don't like, leave it. Me, I have said what I said. All those people that have called me names, insulted me, and you don't want to repent, after seven days you don't repent, the judgment of God will be established upon your life. And so shall it be, in Jesus' name. Amen. I remain your friend to those that are my friend, Reverend Ngwa saying goodbye for now.